today what I have for you is homemade paint. I made this paint using shampoo so it smelled nice and like coloring because I have a soap making kit. And what I want to do for you is I'm going to paint for you. So I already used it and it actually smells really, really nice. It also feels very smooth. And also, like, you can mix colors and stuff. I had a hard time with my red and blue because it didn't really come out, like, didn't really mix colors. So what I had to do was, um, I made my own little purple. Okay, so it's the colors we have today, mixing is yellow, blue, green, and red. And also purple. So, let's get started. Um, maybe for my red, I can use... Like, I don't know for red, I can use just a little bit of pink. I don't really remember, no, but you'll see the paper. I just have um, this lipstick thing because I have no paintbrush properly used for it because I don't really use this thing because it's kind of broken, so it kind of fall apart on your lips. I also have the towel here for mixing colors, or clean up my brush when I'm done. So let's get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make some grass. Let me turn this camera down a bit so you guys can see. Move my paint aside. So you guys, this is the paper. And I'll move it back a bit so you guys can see the paper. So let's open up a purple paint. Because, like, we need a purple paint. What we're going to start with is the grass. So I'm actually going to make a little, a bit, a little, um, sure. some scissors. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And with these scissors, I'm going to cut off these little lines, right, these little circles right here. Along the lines. Like that. And that will go over the side. So now let's what we do if we can make some designs. I'm gonna grab my green. This is a liquidy, but I'm just gonna make some little grass. It actually worked as paint, it's not like this random colors. It actually shows down as green. And also it does it does dry too because because of the um, dye I put in here makes it so it dries. This part of it does not stay in the ground because I got some on the ground when I was trying to make it. And it didn't stay in the ground. It's washable. Because of soap, of course, it's washable. Soap is washable. Just put it up on the ground, put it right off, and it's off. So we just get some of that paint and keep rubbing it right flat on the surface for green grass. Yes, it yes it stains the it doesn't stay on the ground because I have a special spray. This comes out in the spray. Also, I also can use a, a washcloth for it too. So there's our grass. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna um just wipe off my brush. On my, my lipstick thing, whatever you can call it. Uh, it doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna dip it. I'm gonna make. A, I don't know. I'm gonna show, should I use the green again to make a green stem. I'm gonna do another coat over my color because I want it to look really look green. Like that. Now that's what I call green. Alright, so now again, we're gonna wipe it off our brush. And we're gonna use is some yellow and blue. 
So I'm going to mix some yellow and blue together. This always says a mixing template because it makes a lot of colors on it. So I'm going to grab my yellow, just put it right there. Put my yellow, because I'm going to try to make a light, light green. And wipe this yellow off on my, my little, wiping my little tissue. I'm going to go ahead and dip our the color in the, in the blue. Well, a lot of blue there. And we'll really just stir it up. And then we're going to, that's kind of like a little bit of a bluish green. Wipe this off a bit and then Dip it in yellow. I think that might look that's still a bit dark of a green. All right. Now what to do? Let's grab a little bit of that green. And make a stem out of it. I can make like but is it maybe a bit light but when it dries it will get darker a lot of paint when it's wet and it dries when it's wet and it's all light and it ends up getting darker I'm just going to make it so it's a bit more darker because Ready? Now what we're gonna do is use some of my yellow and I'm gonna make them like that for my flower. Yes, it might not look so nice because I'm using a lipstick thing, I'm not using a real paintbrush. Because all my paintbrushes I already used them all, so they're all wet and still I haven't cleaned them. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make a purple flower. I have my purple paint. I'm not really an artist, so sorry if it works not that nice. Just really came here to show you my pomade paint mostly. I'm sure that I can draw with it. Let me just color it in. Then I'm gonna close up my purple because I don't want the purple to spill. Because then it will kind of not stay in the ground, but like. You ready? So I'm actually going to cut the paper a bit more because I didn't use a lot of the paper. A little flower. And 
know what? Maybe I can make a little ba a little rainbow. So I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna make an orange. I'm get a lot of yellow to make this orange. I'm going to go to this very fragile paint so it will mix the colors. Add some red. Then mix the colors up. Right, it's an orange. Let's start with a red because you need a red. So there's a red right there. Eee! It's dripping. I'm just oops. Also today I'm going to see the movie Trolls. I'm really excited. <laughs> and now we're gonna need some orange. So wipes. So I can wipe the color right off. And then we get some orange. This paint might take a bit while to dry, so um, luckily I'll just show you when it's dry. I'm gonna add some coat onto my colors when it's when it's dry, like when it's a bit more. I'm gonna go over it twice. Alright, that orange is done. Now onto the yellow. Whoop. Grab some green. Okay, some green's all done. And some blue.
There's our rainbow. The rainbow's all done from the front of the flower. Made it a bit deep, so I'm sorry if the cards are mixed up. <laughs> mixed a bit, because like they don't like I said they don't dry that quickly. I'm gonna make a blue sky now. My bottom is blue sky. I'm also gonna make a sun too because it has to be a sun in the blue sky. the whole paper because what's very neat is that a pink here does not get stuck in your hands it washes right off so you should try making your own paint like I said it washes right off all right now let's make our set and that's the last thing I have another picture And there and there we have it and there you have it my own masterpiece using my shampoo paint now I hope you enjoyed the video um and I think you should do this at home with parent supervision because like I said the dye will stain if you don't wash it out right away with with water I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye. Thanks for watching.